somebody left me some feedback that I don't like, I think, because I saw my score go down. Let's check it. Who's doing that? That is ridiculous. Then don't buy it. All right, so I put on these last boards here at the top. Um, thought I could have a shelf up there potentially. This thing is solid. <laughs> um, I was able to attach this to it too, because this is solid. Uh, before I just had really not very strong ones uh, from the ceiling here. I mean, it, it's it's in the ceiling, but it, I would not trust that. Uh, if something really heavy tried to pull that down, it probably could, not anymore. Um, I just have them zip tied here and down low, so they're together. Um, <laughs> missing one. I think I have four more coming. I, I just got notified on yesterday, Monday, April 20th, that one another shipment was out on the way. I think I ordered 12 and I got eight of those little ones. So I have uh, over 70 more drawers than I originally had planned because I did not plan to put these 43 in there, but they did not have... Um, I was going to have two rows of the 33 and then one last row of this one. Um, so... Is that right? No, maybe it's 30 extra drawers. Yeah, 10. Yeah, the, the 43s, they were going to be 33s and then this high. It would have been a little bit lower um, and a little more shelf space on top, but I'm, I'm just fine with that shelf space uh, as long as it's reachable. You know, it's not too high for anyone here um, as they grow, but I can definitely, you know, reach way above it. So it's beautiful. And uh, now I just have to paint it. Take off the wrapping and then screw them to the the backboard there, and it is done. I love I love new uh, new expansions. Uh, every time I do work with wood, I seem like I enjoy it more, and uh, the projects turn out. Got to make sure everything is level. That's number one, and I, I definitely overkilled uh, putting things in. I'm sure there's a better way to do that, <laughs> but. That's what I came up with, and you know I bracketed it and all that stuff. So, and that one's definitely up there good. So we are solid from here on out for this thing. And then it goes that way. Eventually, like I said, um, maybe in the last video or this one, I don't remember. I could always continue this here onto the back, and obviously move maybe some of the stuff out of here if I had to. Uh, there's those three boxes back there that I don't need there. I could always push those back to have more room at the front. Um, but that's worst case scenario. I don't know if that'll ever get to that. Um, but yeah. All these parts have to be moved over to here. Alright, paint job is done. I really only painted the inside back for a clip art for the video. So uh, just a really light paint job there. And once it dries, I can start screwing the uh, stack guns in there. So we had a, have an order here from one of the Lego Masters. Lots of lime green, lots of uh, Buzz Lightyear stuff, and I'm guessing those are for a Sig Fig. I ordered ten of them, but I added I had five extra because I had some more. Um, so yeah, another Lego Masters finalist order from me this time um, can you guess who it is if you check my Instagram it's probably on there if you're seeing this all right it is uh, Wednesday morning we have 12 brickling quarters packed up I think that beat yesterday 11 yesterday 12 today I think wow it is uh, it's getting busy but they're mostly small so it's been about two hours probably doing all this Here's Wednesday's mail. He's got two of these from Walmart for 55 I think. Uh, part out is not much more than, I think it's just under 100 for the what they actually sell for, the price of the pieces. I bought one for like $43 a while back um, from a Bricklink seller. And I never, never wanted to part out because I only had one. So I just spent the money to get two more, make it, at, at, you know, worth it. And I have the... Um, See, it comes with that. I have all the other stones to complete them. 
the one I got from that I paid 190 bucks for. Sold him for 28 bucks the other day, so I'll have two, three more that I can put up as brand new ones, and probably get the same amount. So get I'll get half the price of each set just by selling him and taking the stones out of my store, completing that. And he, I'm gonna build, do the build on that. Probably sell for about almost 20 bucks himself too. So part of values are not always accurate when you figure the minifig prices on eBay. It goes up. Hey, wait, what is this? I'm using this for the actual bolts. Um, cool. Uh, obviously, I'm looking for uh, the smaller screws to, to attach those so it doesn't go through the back. And uh, so, actually, using this for a bolt sorting, nut and bolt screw sorting. I'll wipe it out when I'm done because it's gonna have some bad stuff in there, but. All right, it is still Wednesday, almost, uh, day's almost over. I'm about to edit my vlog. Uh, it's coming out April 22nd or 23rd. It's, it's like gonna be over, well over an hour. Um, I'm parting out this ship to this set with these two guys, Anakin and the thigh scene thing. Pretty much all have all the pieces, and then there's pieces to another set in here that I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to add or not, probably. All right, so this is with uh, two minifigs too, 22 bucks. I have, uh, these are all left over here, here and here. And these I gotta put on separately as the uh, sticker parts that were left over. And these ones I already had in the store, I gotta go throw them in the correct drawers. Now that I'm on this page, it will tell me where to go before I hit upload. There's a lot of parts in there. So I gotta put that one in 97. Okay, we added a few more parts. These three I filled up here, and a couple in the big one. This is what I had left out of that bag. Did not did not go to either of those two sets. I gotta put these away. So I'm glad I almost didn't even part out that second part because there's like 250 lots in that set. But it's pretty quick when you have not there that that many parts in front of you. So I added a few more. So with those two you set part outs, partial part outs, I was able to get up to 9,000 again. And uh, where are we at? 130,000, nice. Um, so that's that, and now we get back into video editing. It's, I think I only took off like maybe two minutes so far of dead stuff that I didn't need. So we're at 100, one hour 38 minutes right now where it stands. Let's see how we can, how low we can get. All right, I just. Got them all installed. I took, I was short one, one's still coming in the mail. I ordered eight and only got seven the first time and it just said the other one shipped on Monday. And it is Wednesday now, so I think it'll be here tomorrow. But my son had an extra one he wasn't using upstairs. as I can says, well, I just took it for now and I'll put the one, the new one I get back in place. Cause I needed it now. <laughs> um, and I did move over some stuff, um, some Star Wars stuff. I cleared out this whole side because I'm already only at two now after parting out those few sets um, today. And uh, so now I can number at least this row and I'll move the rest over tomorrow or another day because I have one, two, three, six Bricklink orders to pack up, all relatively small. And then, uh, so I'm happy this is over. It's one of my favorite ones yet. Just like how it's encased. It's very solid. It has a top. Not sure what I'm gonna put up here yet, but most likely, um, they have an empty bin. Most likely just a couple of those. I only think two will fit, but they actually, it would fit like that too. A bunch of those across. I could put big used parts in it or something eventually, or something like that. Nice. All right, there's the new vlog. Just put it up. Uh, and uh, it's what, hour and 33 minutes. I took off maybe six minutes of it. So no, not much at all. Hit the editing room floor there. All right, it's Thursday morning, uh, April 23rd. I got all the eBay stuff uh, relisted. There's only like, I've only built, rebuilt six or seven of them this morning. Not very many. And I'm going through this huge lot of stuff that I traded partial for it. 
some local. Uh, I, after I, d I process all the minifigs in the last vlog, and uh, this is all like the random. Look at all these torsos have no arms. Tons of heads. More heads and things. So I'm going to try to complete as much as I can. And obviously the accessories put away are list on Bricklink, some of them. Starting with this 4x4 bat shield at about 25 cents. We are slowly moving things over. So um, my Star Wars may end up here. Right now it's up to here. And that's Minecraft. So it's here all the way on this these two rows all the way down so far. Um, so I got lots of room here. Kind of wish I would not have gotten the big ones. There's just a ton of small ones, I think, because I like the big drawers, but that's all right. I like to have like a catch all drawer and then sort them smaller up into these little ones from that catch all. Um, but it'll work, it'll be fine. I'm sure I can. I can make, you know, a bunch of different loops going straight up uh, of all the different types. Maybe even get rid of some of these bigger ones. Things like that. Right, here's a quick lot check. On um, the Bricklink store, it is Thursday about lunchtime. 9,014. All right, one piece of mail here on Thursday. Um, <clears throat> and... This is a big Bricklink order I ordered last Monday. I talked about it. The store, uh, they only ship usually every Monday. So if you place an order on Monday, it won't be shipped to the following Monday. So that's what I did, which is fine. Um, and I've been ordering a lot from the store lately. And it's been very good quality lately. So <clears throat> it's free shipping. They have a $2 lot limit or you have to hit a two dollar lot limit, so you kind of got to get a lot of a lot of things, which I do. So <clears throat> it's not the store for everybody, and uh, we are going to be making some stuff here, completing lots of figs. So I'm going to get busy with that right about now. Okay, so we have the order all spilled out here. I have my uh, waiting for parts bin overflowing still. This will definitely help it a little bit. Um, here's a good look at all the parts. There's 113 different parts, 275 total. total so it's an expensive cape, four bucks. So we're gonna go through this and complete them. This seller was trying to charge a five dollar ninety cent fee for cust filling out a customs form. I was like, what are you talking about? They tried to charge eighteen dollar shipping, and I qu I questioned them on it. I buy from Canada quite a bit, you know, two, three, maybe four or five orders a month sometimes. And I barely ever pay over $8 Canada. So she ended up agreeing to actually charge me $11, which is fine. But still, trying to charge $18 is like, what are you talking about on a $30 order? It's ridiculous. And this is what happens with stores that do that. Dislike. Okay, so here it is. Um, I had to use my desk. Or, um, I had to use my uh, table here because my desk is not big enough for how many I completed here. 49. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a brick, one Bricklink order complete this many uh, different ones. I've, obviously with the multiple parts of some, I could make like 10 of the same guy sometimes that I buy. But I don't do that. Uh, 50. That's awesome. Or 49, one short of 50. And I only, I think less than seven, six or seven, I think I kind of need photographs, so the rest are going up immediately. All right, I just got about 40, I think it was 41 I was able to relist immediately. It took about 15 minutes. I didn't think I was going to even get to 1,200 um, all weekend. Because I have uh, about 30 to photograph tonight. And then, um... Looking over at orders received, there's a couple big ones in there. We got a cart now, it's a lot faster. And let's check the, uh, the lot count. <laughs> so it definitely was taken down today on Thursday. There it goes, so we keep on trucking. Let's do this. 
Got an order packed up on Bricklink. 100 lots for M&M bricks on Bricklink. Thank you very much once again. Since this order has an attached message, send with love. Uh, I think that means um, package it carefully. I think. All right, Friday morning here. Nine Bricklink orders. I think three of them are 40 bucks or more. So, very, very good set of orders. I was, took quite a bit of time last night, at least two hours, to do this, but we are at the point of throwing them in the envelope and shipping them off. Well, here is my to do bucket. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get some mail. I think we're getting a few things today. And then uh, last night, I was able to photograph. I already listed about 15 of them out of here. And uh, got this, this is a rare one. I found this, somebody sold this for three bucks and it's rare to find that under 10 now. That shoulder, shoulder pads and the legs are five, six bucks sometimes, sometimes three. So on eBay, check the price on the Overlord set number 70728. It's a lot. Well, I thought I'd just show you the price that people want for this. 17 watchers on that one. It's nuts. People are buying it at this price, apparently. <laughs> the last one at $110. <laughs> Holy cow. See, then there's this one, <clears throat> which is about the price I'll probably get for it. <clears throat> what is wrong with these people? <laughs> wow. That, that, that's it, I think. Well, let's look at the sold ones, I guess. Sold items. $65. Could have been offered, but best offer. eBay doesn't show whether an offer was accepted or anything like that. Um, so, 32. So, yeah, it's about 35 to 40 is what I would probably get for it, is what I was thinking. So, so we'll put it. Alright, so here's Friday's mail. This is uh, one, one eBay package. Uh, 72 minifigs, I think it is. I think I paid about $70 for it. Um, had some, you know, pretty good full, mostly our full minifigs in there. Uh, comes with this big thing. Not sure what set that comes from. Um, so I got it. And, uh, the zombie cheerleader. There's some, a couple of, oh, the wolf guy in there. There's, it's got some pretty good stuff. Decent stuff, nothing like super great, but definitely a good quantity of stuff. And the bear skin, that's all I needed for another one of him. There's some more green stuff in there, that's the wrong head, but... And then we got the last one of these I have to replace upstairs in my son's room. Because I took one of his so I can complete my wall. Which is... It's a great thing here. I'm so happy, it's so close to my desk. Everything else, so... It's nice. All right, so we have this after the ones I just photographed are all listed for sale. And now I'm working on the cards from last night. Those I cannot rebuild so far. But most of these, most of these I can. We'll see. Just pulled him out of that lot I just opened in the mail. So I'm like, hey, got one right there. Grab the sphere. There we go, and then I think I had, uh, yeah, April O'Neil. I think I had a, another one waiting somewhere without a card. Well, here's just a few of the things I pulled out of here. I, I needed the legs for this guy. I got those. He was complete. I just need a helmet for that guy, but yeah, all three of all these... These three were from the lot. And I'm, right now, what I do is when I first get them, I just take everything apart that shouldn't. Most things are in great shape, but he has a little print issue on his face. That's a bummer, but um, I take everything apart that should is not correct. Like this head. Shouldn't be on there. Oh, my legs just broke. Dark red is a fragile type of... Uh, Material I notice that it breaks a lot. 
What I do need, I have two <laughs> Captain Jacks that I cannot list because I don't have a head, so I will be listing one of those at least. Maybe there's more. Ooh, this is a good head. This might, oh, that's the Mula Ram guy's head. I'm not sure if it's worth a lot. I know the headgear is with the horns, but we will put it for sale. So I just listed this uh, eBay uh, item. Uh, it ended up being sold for $20.97 within about an hour. Um, when, you know, sometimes you get these things and you're like, um, how much is it worth? You don't know. I took it to Two Brick World and a bunch of other shows for eight bucks. I had it for sale and never sold it. So I'm pretty happy with that. I probably could have gotten more in an auction potentially, but either way, I got, got it sold, got a 20. So here's my plan for the weekend. Those three sets for the Carnival, five RVs and five the Duke Kabooms. And then I have these two random bags for a set. I found out what set it was by um, looking up that piece. Um, it's in the Cloud Cuckoo Land, and I went up to the Lime. There's only two sets that comes in Lime. It's just, this is some friend's set. It's missing bag one, but uh, bag two and three are here. So it's not missing too many parts, so it's an easy part out. I have a ton of bags there from, let's say, 2011 Lego Group. So from around this time, I have a bin behind that mess of boxes. This literally full of bags like this. So don't know what I'm going to do or ever get around to it. And then this is the, the first responder Technic set. I still have to do I didn't get to it last weekend. Um, this is the first one I'm going to be doing, or this one, one of the two. And then move on to these this weekend at some point. So I just woke up on Saturday morning. Never had that much to ship on a Saturday morning. That's a lot. So I came down here about a quarter after 6 a.m. today. And within that time I have all the eBay packages ready to go. So it's over $600 worth of stuff. <clears throat> that time that I had $1,200 worth of Bricklink orders overnight, um, took me over eight hours to pack those and ship that. So I could have the whole day free if all I did was eBay. Look at that. It's a head scratcher. All right, now we have eight total Bricklink orders. Uh, seven packed up over there. Here's the last one from a YouTube viewer. Watcher, fan of the channel, thank you again. Used parts and the new parts. Okay, I have the first responder Technic set all parted out. This one didn't need. And I just hit the buttons here. Let's get down there. 67 bucks. I paid about 35 for it, so. I mentioned the Technic, it's very difficult to make much of a profit on for the work you have to do. Um, so this was an open bag set and that is now in our store. Well, it is Saturday night as I just got in the back down here, almost seven o'clock. And uh, this got two pieces of mail today. Those did not get parted out. This I'm going to try to do before 7.30, but I have three Bricklink orders here that I'm packing up. Actually, I'm going to pack up two because one's not paid. I'm going to wait till it gets paid because it's 60 lots. So I got a part in drawer number one. I just pulled two of these. This focus has to go faster. All right, so we have uh, bags two and three spilled out here of this set. Comes with like 230 some pieces initially, so let's see what we can get out of that. All right, so here we go. I already put away all the other pieces. They had an alternative piece. This one was wrong, apparently, so I got to fix that here. But 90 lots, 26 bucks. All right, so it is 7:30. It's Saturday night now. It's got all that put away from that partial set. Just got this first one opened. Getting it ready for in the morning. Um, I'll do it tomorrow morning because 
today I was doing other things. <laughs> um, one thing I did was uh, somebody on Instagram I posted I was going to part this out and well all of these sets and they said well you should try to sell them sealed because something about the eBay market so I just checked how much they were selling for um, and this was like 27 bucks so I offered 25 on nine of them and they accepted it so I paid 20 for this one and the part of value for the act what they sell for it is only 50 bucks but when you look at the minifigures the two animals um, and these three, I would get almost $30 for them selling them on eBay. So, um, I mean, just that one and that one together is about eight, eight, nine bucks. Buzz, I sell for about six bucks. Um, she, I'd sell for about eight bucks, and Woody's five. I don't know what that adds up to 25 to 30. Um, and then, so basically, I get after I sell the minifigs, the parts are all extra. So, 230 parts that's including the minifig pieces so say 200 pieces roughly that I'm getting in my store cost free uh, in the end so uh, I won't be parting this one out this weekend um, I'm definitely going to do this one and, and this one still and that'll be it those should be pretty quick 120 pieces um, and this one is not too bad 178 so that's what I'll be doing just got to put the chickens lock them up here and this is what I spent my day doing. We've always had to have somebody come and shut our door here uh, when we go out on vacation, just for the weekend or something. So I spent four to five hours in those backwoods, cutting these posts, digging holes, and putting them in. So now we can go on the weekend and not have to bother anyone to come do this. Um, just gotta finish the gate here and we're gonna put chicken wire dig it down the six to eight inches so nothing can dig underneath it we do have a fence all the way around uh, about three acres here um, maybe it's two acres fenced in we have five total here so so nothing can really get in but you know little small animals raccoons and things could get in all right 7 a.m. on Sunday I got um, all the drawers and the first two rows of parts that I already have, and these are the ones that are empty I can use. Here is the set. Got five of these. I had four Bricklink orders I had to pack up that sold on Saturday because everything was shipped out Saturday morning that was purchased before then. And uh, I'm glad I have um, empty stuff to put minifigs in now. Got a lot. So. When I have a lot of space, I usually let them sit there for sometimes a couple weeks, but probably not in this case because I already have listings for a lot of these. Like, I believe Jesse, I do on eBay that it sold out, just relist it as a new listing. So, so this, my friends, is an amazing part out value for what I paid. I uh, got them for $17 each, it was 60% off the retail. Um, so what is that? 34 times 2, $68 I paid for all these sets. And this is just the parts. These are going to eBay. All of them. And uh, that's a great, great value I got on this one. So, not as good as the Carnival that I bought more of for some reason. I don't know why I did, but... <laughs> Who did it? So. so I just got done doing bag two of this RV Toy Story, and I'm left with these pieces. I had you know four bags of each. I had five total sets. The first set's already parted out and added, so I have four left to do. This piece is not in the set, and there should have been four of these in the bag. Hmm. Let's see, it's strange. Never had that happen before. All right, we have the first one of these uh, parted out into drawers. I parted out every single minifigure as well. Um, I thought about building the motorcycle and making a listing on eBay for him, but uh, the, the motorcycle parts were actually pretty expensive. So the, this set I paid, uh, I think, $8 for five of them, 40 bucks, And... 
That's what we'll get for everything minus the percent off I do. So say 150 bucks. So $110 plus on this one. And it's very fast. Um, this, these last four sets there, gonna take no time to put away. All right, so here's where we stand at the end of the weekend, or my part up, my uploading uh, goes at least. So got back over 9,000 and close to 130. All right, here is uh, from Saturday's mail. Uh, we got yesterday one Bricklink order, uh, 17 different pieces, 36 bucks. My second order with the store. Okay, so yeah, this is um, some pieces. These are the used pieces I needed. Cyborg Series 16, Captain Cold, Birthday Girl. These are all really good prices. I, this guy's not so much, but I'm going to put a warg on him. Good deal on some stuff there. And then I got this order. There's something like multiples of 10 of all these hidden side characters. So um, 15 bucks for 10. Could not pass that up. And then this guy, I basically, basically bought him for his hair. I'm going to part most of these out, so I'll send some to Brickworld. And uh, so yeah, it was quite an expensive order. I think this is over like 80 bucks for all this, but there's a lot of minifigs. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Maybe I paid more than that, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I must have. Must have been over 100 bucks. I don't know, but either way, uh, it's a lot. It's a good quantity here, and that's what we... Okay, so we are back here Sunday night at 6 p.m. Time to ship. So I had 75 sold Saturday morning and 72 Sunday night, so like over one or about 150, almost 150 in a 48 hour period. That is crazy. A lot of sales. All right, I have over 9,000 lots. It is Monday morning. We hit over 2,500 orders this weekend. I think I had, between Saturday morning, I had 14 orders. I closed the store for most of Sunday, but opened it before uh, later Sunday night. So I didn't have much to do in the morning. <laughs> um, that's an understatement. These are cards I have to rebuild. These are just the ones on my desk. I have probably at least 50 over at my son's desk that he may or may not do. I didn't want to do it yesterday because we went on a few mile hike through the woods. tired out from that um, here they are there's a lot of them this is what I'm gonna be doing most of my Monday so here's a quick snapshot of where we started Monday morning how many eBay listings we had if I recall correctly it was nearing 1250 on Friday <laughs> oh boy yeah so I'm not gonna complain about that that's the goal sell them all so I just placed a Bricklink order. There's 133 items on my wanted list. Um, I should delete these first, but let me just copy this order number. So if I look at my wanted list now, we have 643. Let's see what we can get it down. There we go. I got it down to 518 after I deleted everything I just bought, except about eight items I kept on there. So. Um, I'm, I'm going to go through all these cards, and then there's more over there too, and add parts as I go, because obviously I can't, I cannot rebuild all of these. And then I'll place a couple more orders after I do that. Alright, here is a Monday morning wall report. Uh, yesterday I had every single small drawer turned around. Now I think I have two, I know I see two there. I try to keep them pulled out on this section where there's not very many, so I can grab them right away. So I will be filling them with those new minifigs I just got. Oh, there's three. Um, so I just filled six orders this morning. And uh, then here we got it all the way down to this one here, one there, 
one there, and then it starts, looks like four in there, it starts getting more. Uh, Cause I got, I got two around over here somewhere yesterday. And then, uh, yeah. And then I just up my sail on BrickLink, so hold on tight. I pulled out some uh, C-3PO's that I had that I need to get listed with R2-D2 on eBay. Look at this one leg has faded, that weird gold thing problem. I forget what you call the color. It's in BrickLink. It's dark and one's light. I didn't change them. <laughs> and then this torso and head are dark. The legs are still light. Same with this one. We have uh, two good specimens. I guess I can switch the legs to this. Um, these two are good. I just need these legs to go on here and all three decent ones. I gotta figure out how to get bad, weird, weird looking legs for these ones. Oh, I have three more torso um, cards to do. I know I don't have the torsos right now. I just ordered some. So I got through them all except those, which I'll do later. And then we have, I haven't relisted them on eBay yet. I'll have to do that later tonight because I'm done working for the day. I'll just come down 15, 20 minutes. It'll take me to get all those up because they are already photographed. And uh, I gotta go to the post. Here's a quick update on my wanted list at the end of the day Monday. Back up to 569. Um, I just placed two smaller order orders. I took maybe 10, 15 parts off of it total off those two combined. So um, I'm gonna do my uh, buy all and see what I can find a good store that has a lot of stuff right now. All right, the end of the day, 524 is on my wanted list. I just placed three orders, I think, maybe four. After that big one this morning. Oh, well, we did get one piece of mail today. This is a cool one. Can't wait to put it together. It might, might be a few days, but we'll get it together. Okay, so here's an up-close look of everything I rebuilt from eBay. I'd say there's 8 to 10 that I've already put uh, re-put for sale. Anything that has more than one in it, I do it right away. Because I just throw it up in the box up top up there. Let it go is after I rebuild them. Um, this And these are all sorted by which box they're at location they're in. Like all the Ninjago and then the Harry Potter in the same box. Star Wars. Those three are in one box. This one's in the other Star Wars box. And the Minecraft, Ninja Turtle, Lego Movie, a superhero, all in the same box. Two series, I didn't have many series sold. And then the Space and the Atlantis and the Others, this is the Others box. And then the City and Pirates and Forestmen, actually Forestmen should be down here. The pi I do Pirates and Adventurers together, that's how I do, how I sort them. So there's those, and then the castle got a big run on them. <laughs> actually put away at least five cards of the castle. So this is probably about 70% roughly. Well, I know I can't say that. Uh, probably 50% of what sold. Um, I was able to rebuild and there's a whole bunch of cards I had to put in the waiting for parts bin and I put the parts on my wanted list for BrickLink and I placed 350 for uh, over $600 in BrickLink orders today. So, my budget for this week is done on Monday. I just had to do it because I had so many, so many good, so many parts I needed, and found some good stores with good prices. So I felt a lot's coming because eBay just—it's so simple to get that head, throw it in, relist on eBay, and that's it. Um, so here's this. I just had a huge order I just did last what, Friday, and now it's overflowing again. Um, but that's okay. Let's keep it going. Alright, it is uh, Monday night. I was hoping to put this together today, but um, it's at 9, 10, maybe 11 BrickLink orders got in the way. <laughs> I spent the better part of an hour doing that instead of putting this together, but that's alright. Can't wait. I, I should have just bought this one initially. Um, I'm just going to test out. Space. See, this is all the space that I was hoping for. Just have the tray. Uh, I don't even need all three of these in here, but 
that's where I keep them, I guess. Two I've been using. If it's a big order, I'll grab the third one and put it in here. Um, and my tray, which I don't really use too much, mostly for the used parts when I dump a whole drawer in to pull out a bunch of different pieces. If there's a bunch of uh, regular bricks in there, things like that, minifig parts are easy to grab one out, don't have to dump it. Got this, I think I'll leave it here. Sometimes I usually actually put it in there when I'm not using it anyway, but I might get something to attach to the side. Not sure, but that is awesome and it'll tuck right in that corner. Unlike that other one, it's kind of big. I was just like filming this and I just love the look of all that. It's really interesting and I just like it. Okay, so I'll talk about something I thought about since that last, every time I do an expansion, I always think of where's the next, next one gonna be um, because of this. This is gonna last me at least three more months, I'm thinking. But at the rate of the sales now, I'll never break into hardly any new ones. Um, but I will. I'll definitely eventually do it. So I'm going to... I don't want to go past this pull too much. I wanna, I'm always going to leave this open. And I'm thinking that other spot open. Uh, if I have to, I might wall that in. Um, but I don't want to. I definitely want to keep this open. Actually, I could just leave an open doorway here. A nice wide one. And then go to that pole and do the same over there in that section. That's definitely a possibility, uh, but for now what I'm going to do is put plywood here, plywood here. This is going to move over all the way up against here and I can fit uh, two rows on each side of that L I would make with the wood. So row two here, row two there, which would pr basically give me almost almost four rows just like this and these have lasted me a long time so um, this next expansion definitely will get me through quite a ways and I don't know if I'm gonna expand again from there I'm gonna really try not to because eventually I'm gonna have you know these down there as well and then those up there working toward to get that I'll probably leave the top shelf stuff unless I need to use it obviously seems like when I go to the pick a brick cups I get more new I have more uh, open use than new, but that is the future plans there. Here's a nice little order that's going out to a fan of the YouTube channel. Thank you for the support. And uh, yeah, if you buy anything, just put a comment in um, in the order. You know, I mean, I don't do the Pablos like Brickstar does, because uh, the one time I tried that, I skipped over like 10 pieces. I don't have the attention span for that typically, but I will put a little clip in there if you ask. All right, so we're done packing up Bricklink orders. This is the line of Bricklink orders from mon all day Monday, overnight, Monday into Tuesday morning. There they are. Wait all right, it is Tuesday. Uh, so every everything we listed from eBay for Monday and... Uh, I get to get into these two Bricklink orders I got on the weekend, and hopefully I'll get more today. I have something coming that I've been waiting on, something new that just came out. I'm really hoping it comes today. Uh, I didn't ask for the tracking number, but I should have. Just check on it, but let's get go. All right, guys, just got the Tuesday mail, and the package I was hoping for is not in there yet, but it definitely should be here tomorrow, unless they did not send it priority they sent it something slower so which I don't think they would have for the price I paid um, and uh, so this is an eBay order uh, they wanted 30 bucks for it um, and uh, it was up for over 10 days I think and I offered them 20 uh, they didn't have a best offer I just sent them a message like hey um, been watching this would you take 20 and they did so there's 20 plus 4 shipping or something so Nothing like super great. Uh, with eBay nowadays, it is getting a little difficult. Uh, not difficult, but auctions are getting bid up a lot more than they used to be right now. I, you know, obviously there's a reason. Lots of people are shopping probably, they're bored. Um, so I haven't been getting too much stuff, but uh, this was a good find for the amount I paid that was, I think it's about 40 minifigures in here, so can't complain. 
definitely value there. And then this was a one Bricklink order. I came here for, this is the only part in here, so I'm guessing it was for this one. I think. Oh yeah, that's for the Sandman, I think. Let me check. Um, let's see. Yep, here he is. Yep. So, I, yeah, I specifically remember looking for this head because I had everything and I'm like, oh, I want the head. And I saw it for a really good price. It's, it's funny, all these other Infinity Picks have prices on them. What I, that's exactly what I paid for them. Um, that was a really good deal. Uh, and this was a pretty good deal too uh, for, for the eBay price you can get for this guy. I don't know, I just threw that in there. I haven't had them. That'd be cool to throw that in there. Paid, you know, pretty much retail for it, but we'll see what it goes for on eBay. And that is all the mail for Monday. And then this cool red display mail sorting spot won't be here later tonight. It will be assembled. So I've got about an hour left of my work day on uh, Tuesday here. This is that Brooklyn code I just got. And I was able to create a few mini figures, the parts from the last one I got Saturday and that one. And I've already uh, parted out, but I had four, five different minifigs here, so four so far. And this is the last one I have. A bunch, I parted out some to my Brickling store, added some to my Brick World stuff. You know, like two of each under there. And this is the last one, and then I'm moving on to the Toy Story stuff that I parted out this weekend. It was actually because I parted out two different Toy Story sets. And one of them, I just parted every single minifigure out um, to the store. The Woody and Duke Kaboom just parted all that out. So this one I did not. I'm going to put some on eBay, definitely, because the Jesse is definitely a good sellable one there for sure. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with this yet, but we'll figure that out. Okay, my uh, plate is empty. Is that how you say it? My plate is cleared. Um... I was only able to make six. I bunch got a bunch of extras on those uh, CMFs and stuff that I have in my extra bin here. Um, like the Scratchy and the Pretzel Girl. I already have one for sale. I uh, know this Anna, Anna, whatever. And uh, some other, a couple others, I think. So I'll put these up on eBay real quick. They all should, well, except Sandman, I need photographs for. I've not had him for sale. Probably hardly, hardly ever. Um, and then, oh, I was going to show you my brick link, uh, let's see, store, I guess, because I parted out a bunch of new stuff from the parts, some of the figures I got, and, um, 54 new lots to the store today, not very many, <laughs> um, I did add a lot of values, adding, you know, multiples of a lot of things, so let's see where we're at here on Tuesday, end of day, just about, there it is, so uh, tonight I'll be putting together that card, I think, unless I get a bunch of orders, I don't have very many right now, just three, but they're very small, three lots, ten lots, four lots, so they're nice prices. So that's it. All right, the U.S. General is now in action. I guess that's what we'll call it. Um, don't have a cool name like some, uh, like Trick or Brick has a nice name for his, but um, not really a person that names things, I guess, too much. We had a motor homie named Hilda, but um, either way, this thing is so much better. It's so much easier. See, it'll start. Just like that, this is how I was using the other one, with Steph standing here, but I could probably most likely I'm just going to do it like this, because I can reach in, anything I need, pull it up, Chances, you know, you're not going to get too many drawers down low, that low, lower than this, it's not that many, compared to what else is on the wall, so nice. Um, side though if we're gonna do it this way so yeah and then it goes right up against the wall basically it'll just when I'm done I'll I could probably tuck it in more yeah 
This thing rolls amazing. That one is a, tr a trouble. Some of these wheels don't turn. These back ones do not turn, so you have to actually do a circle with it. These ones, they both turn. So that's definitely what I wanted. And uh, love it. It's a 40 extra dollars for this one. Um, than that big old monstrosity um, but definitely worth it for what I want to use it for. and if I had a big store and I had somebody else pulling orders with me I'd probably get a second one of these honestly um, yeah I would definitely do that especially right now if some of those big stores are way behind so um, yeah, that was a lot faster, too, to put this together, at least 20 minutes quicker than this big thing. So, can't wait to pull some orders with that one. There it is. Uh, Tuesday night, I have five Brickling orders packed up. And they're really relatively small. All were under 10 lots, except one was 40. So, uh, but some minifigures, so there's some good value in that. I took all this apart, sorted the colors... I did build this and it was missing maybe five pieces and I think I was buying them. I put them on my list and I think I got most of them. Uh, either way I'll part it out used and we'll figure it out as I enter the numbers. That's how, how you do it. And this is the Resistance X-Wing Fighter um, with Poe in the set and there's a Flame Trooper and Low, is it Low San Tarkin or something. Um, so this was probably about 80% complete, the ship was in there. And I don't know where I got it from, somewhere. It was just up in my, uh, up here. So I basically took the last two sets that are in bags out of here. So everything's looking pretty uniform up here. And then from there, we have stuff in boxes. I got some good sets I want to part out. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'm gonna part out this one, honestly. Um, Oh, here's the one I just parted out. So, oh, I should, oh, I need to take this out right now because I'm going to have two of the same one. So, there we go. I'm glad I looked over here. <laughs> so I'll grab that down and uh, sort those pieces real quick and then uh, do those today. Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure when I'll get to it. I have some mail coming for sure. So, lots more to do coming up soon. This card is so much better. It is, yeah, it's great. I just had, um, in drawer 1096 for those. I switched over, grab four, put them in. They're right there. So much better. Okay, these two Brickling Gorders. This one was paid uh, a few hours ago, so it was paid today, so I did not have time to pack it up before work. This one's not paid yet. Again, here are the ones that are going out Wednesday. Ten. So I have 11 paid, but 10 are going out, which is fine with me. I don't guarantee next day shipping or the day after or the same day. Um, but I wish I had time to pack up that other one. I just don't, so I have to get to work. All right, so here is Wednesday's mail. A uh, thousand of these 3 by 4s This is what I use for all my eBay uh, minifigs because the cards fit in them perfectly. The size, I mean, I could cut the cards down and use smaller ones, but... That's what I use. And then I got this for 30 bucks free shipping. So I don't know, I just have these on my list that every time they pop up I try to get them for like 25 or 20 to 25, but I could I got this for 30, so not bad. These two fig minifigs pay for it. I don't know, they're just something that you don't see all the time. And uh, I just sold one of her on eBay for about 18 bucks, I think, the other day. So, it's a it's something. <laughs> I just like to have them. And uh, it's not like a great profitable thing, but it's a, it's a rare item. So, that's all we have. The package I was hoping for did not make it. Uh, ask for tracking. Anytime you're selling something, it's good to say, hey, I'm going to send it out, you know, Friday last week. When you do it, just send the tracking. <laughs> so, it just makes it easier on everyone, but we'll see. All right, I'm getting the uh, drawer set up for this uh, part out of these two used sets. I need uh, some more labels. So we have you know 80% of one, and then pretty uh, pretty sure the full one of the other is here. Without the minifigs, there are 
taken out of there and I have everything sorted by color and we just don't have any more drawers numbered the small ones at least so that's what I'm doing now and I think I'm gonna grab I think I'm gonna get this one's gonna get put away but I'm gonna put another one here here I think I'm gonna fill this right up because there's a lot of pieces but I mean a lot will fit in those two the bigger stuff so I may not need all this, but it's good to have spaced out. I got the room right now, so. All right, so here's what it looked like at the beginning. With no parts, these are all parts that are already in my store. Just gonna add some more to some of these drawers. Fill them up. Here's the black. Let's see what it looks like when we're done here. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a quick guess uh, how much this is gonna add the current items for sale price. I'm gonna guess between 115 and 125 for these two sets. Just a guess, just a number, based on the number of pieces. It's probably less, I'm thinking. Um, maybe I should say 105 to 115. That might even be high, but we'll see. And here are my current lots before this ad. Um, I'm still doing the black. I'm not even close to being done, but if any, I'll see if any sales come through, but um, see how much we add from this. All right, I'm about to hit verify. I almost sold the instructions, but they don't fit in my shoe boxes, so. Cause they were like a dollar 60 something. I jacked it up a little for the shipping, but forget it. Um, Let's see what happens here. And uh, here's a look at everything. While it's doing that, I as I went through, I found what drawer the ones I already had and put when it ran over and threw in there, away over there. So those are already taken care of. The only thing I still have, still, still trying to pull it up, are these printed tiles. Let's shove them in. They're not, they're not printed tiles, they're stickers. So, okay, I went through. Let's see if my estimation was right. I got stick 115 was in the middle of everything, I guess. Whoa, 129, I was right on my, oh, I said 115 to 125 initially, so very close. Wow, that's cool. Uh, and there was some parts that I didn't put up there, like some little one by one things. I don't like to keep adding them because they're so small, but. So I use them for other things too. So that is a great upload. Boom. And then let's look at my uh, lots. I don't know if it updates it right away. Yep, got over 9,000 again. Boom. And then I'm gonna add each of these manually. Some are the same, I believe. See, these are, these are actually different, left and right. But this should be two of each, from one from each set. Things like that, so these are all going to go up too. I guess I won't be adding these parts. Nobody has entered them in BrickLink yet. I'm not quite sure how to do it. I've sent stuff on the forum asking for things to be added, and then I never see them being added, so I don't exactly know. I don't have time to do it. Um, so I'm going to put these in a bag with the set number on it and uh, put it somewhere with all the other stuff I have to get to in the future. I just packed up this order. Um, that wasn't that was ordered last night, then it got paid this morning. So this is for, for Burns Brick House. I had a question recently in one of the videos, how many uh, sales do I get because of the YouTube channel? I don't know if this is because of it, but they said that they are a big fan of watching these vlogs. So hello out there and thanks for the order. Um, I'll be going out tomorrow. All right, so I've been slowly working through my inventory. Well, it says I printed this out on April 17th, so that was 12 days ago. I'm trying to put the zeros in front of all my numbers that do not have it. I, like I said, I started doing it in uh, October 2019, I think. Because I saw some in September 2019 that I added when I was doing this and they still were not correct. So, just got through the minifig stuff. We have 853 torsos. That was a long one. So, I'm in a panel now. Usually, because you need 100 per page, it takes me like, I don't know, 90 seconds. Uh, page something like that so this I could, I could probably run through this till I get to the slope so it'll take a little longer and then I only have this page left this is actually not too many I think plates let's see what I have where are the plates oh the plates 357 modified plates so I have a couple that have a lot but the minifigure stuff there was 500 headgear 500 heads uh, 
477 legs assembly so that that took me a while it took me over two times sitting down doing it uh, but I don't do it for very long you do it for like half an hour then I quit so I'm not gonna do the mini figures uh, I think they're okay I, I might have to go through some of the gear um, but I'm getting there probably about two more half hour trips of doing this maybe I'm not sure I'm not seeing too many hundreds there so I should have it all completed um, but this cart has been working great even when I get uh, bring it over here so it's, it's way down there which is fine I just just park it like actually I can just bring it here and then as I you know go through this one and I get to this one I just push it up a little as I get to the next one so I can reach down low uh, I haven't had any huge orders yet that it's really affected me but um, then once I because my my not my numbers are not all correct once I get to the last one here like 882 or so then it takes me back over here so I just just push it forward and keep on going and it leads me to the use section so it's working out pretty well even with the numbers not correct yet one of those sales where you sell a lot of tires you don't get them too often but once every few months I sold all the big tires I had over there you see 14 Brooklyn orders we got on Wednesday all packed up and ready to go the next day and just like that less than 16 hours ago I had over 9,000 lots and I wake up to couple more sales throughout the day last night on Wednesday we gotta get that back up to 9,000 or more all right here is uh, Thursday's mail unfortunately I did not get what I was hoping to get it said it was estimated to be delivered today when I got the tracking number yesterday and it's from Canada so there are delays on that stuff Even though it says it should be here it's not so uh, I think this is 70 some mini figures I got for 50 bucks um, there's some CMFs in there and I think that is Thor head there's you know there's there's definitely licensed themes in here series 15 frightening night but he's missing I have a helmet and the plume he's missing his shield and his weapon I don't think there's many accessories in here at all so um, but we will, yeah, it's good stuff in here from Disney. I will be uh, going through this. It's just a, that's, the characters, the, the boyfriend doll, mini dolls actually sell for about five bucks on eBay. So, they're not bad to have. They usually sell pretty quick as well. So, maybe have the price a little low, but either way, we'll get this going. This is my sad looking to do bucket next to my desk here. Um, but I just still have all this. Tons of legs. Um, lots of torsos and the heads that need to be put together. See what I can make out of here. So I'm slowly going to be working through all this before I break into all that again. <laughs> just going through this lot that I just got in the mail today. That's a goodie. Looks perfect. No, nothing wrong with it at all. So then I go to my Imperial Officer bin. I certainly have a hat for him. You can see that uh, in these old ones. So, and then I'm pretty sure I have a torso somewhere. If not in here, I think I have one in my brick. Oh, here's the one. Boom. It's like a $20 figure. Nice. Well, here's a new one. Uh... Lines under eyes, frown brow, white, glints pattern. Ooh, I've never heard it called that. So I had the one that was a hollow stud, and they actually have it listed as white pupil still. But the similar items here, white glints. Who comes up with this stuff? All right, I just uh, got done watching some videos on how to set this camera better um, so the quality might change from here I hope it does <laughs> I don't know it's the autofocus apparently is a, it was a big issue with this one um, this camera so I think I fixed it uh, but we'll see this will be near the end of this vlog so next vlog will be all this way so I now have put this pulled up 
Uh, there's not very many parts here. As you can see, there's a lot of big stuff. I have a shoebox ready over here for that. And then I uh, have the, these ones here. And then I have some drawers. I think this is all I should need. It's not too many parts, so uh, we will get get at it. Let's uh, check check the store first and see where we're at. Parts. We ended the day yesterday at over 9,000, but then you know what happens after we stop loading stuff. 89.40. So, so as I'm parting this out, I looked at the price of the average sold sets and it's like 140 bucks but that's you know that's mostly complete with this dragon which i put so i paid 40 bucks total shipped for all this and had the dragon but no minifigs with it sold the dragon for like 50 some dollars a while back and then um my son actually built the ship and loaded it with lord of the rings guys a few months back so there's some pieces that are not here um but the whole bolt hole boat hull is here those pieces are very expensive the middle one not so much and then we have a one by eight dark brown i was like what it looks like we have both of them right there score so here's the leftover pile of stuff i think we used um not sure what for uh, but uh here's all the set except the the hull and stuff it's in the shoe box behind me and there's also other parts from other sets in there so here's the big reveal that's more than yesterday those two sets that's nuts some pretty expensive parts in there I did the instructions they were over two bucks and pretty neat instructions so let's upload 90 lots boom so now we got a backup over 9,000 again amazing I'm just going back and forth, back and forth from 9,000 down to 8,800 8, I was the other day, the earlier this week. So, um, 128,000 parts, and I keep getting back up at 130 on the weekend and back down. So, let's hope um, we do that, and then I'm going to notify of these lots. Boom. And somebody left me some feedback that I don't like, I think. Because I saw my score go down. Let's check it. Who's doing that? That is ridiculous. Then don't buy it. That is just ridiculous. I'm gonna have to send this guy a message. The average price is set 1372. I sold it for 1326. So if you ever get um, bad feedback, I just type this up in BrickLink and sent this message. I'll give you time to read it. Basically, I mean they are new. They're on the here for like just over six months and uh, it's a real big pain point for a lot of sellers neutral feedback is the same drop in scores negative feedback it's just it should not do that it some people don't understand it um, when they leave it uh, it's just they think oh I wasn't hundred percent satisfied well that minifigure was like new used condition it was four dollars less than any other on the average price of ones for sale currently and they were upset about the price so I really hope they remove it. Um, I've had four neutral feedbacks. Maybe I had one negative and three neutral, and I've had them all removed but one when I've done this. So it doesn't hurt to get, send a nice message saying, just do it. <laughs> something wrong yes I will
Oh, but you had to do it. Girl, get married? Promise, Carl. Never. <laughs> <laughs> 